So here's how I created an offline screen for one of my projects. So an offline screen is basically a screen that appears when the network of the user is offline. So let's say I put my browser on offline so you can see this is the screen that is going to appear uh, when uh, the user is offline. And this also works for when my system um, Wi-Fi is off. So immediately it is off, you can see like uh, we see the offline screen and immediately it's back on and the network is detected, uh, website is back on. So let's take a look at the code. So the first thing that is needed is a state so that we can keep track of this. And whenever uh, there's an update, we are going to um, re-render uh, the component. And we also need a function to update the state with navigator.online and this navigator is a browser uh, method that we can call to check if it is online and this is derived from uh, the event listener on the browser which we are going to get to shortly so and we can call this function so what we are doing here is uh, calling this function update network status uh, whenever the component months and we want to do this when the component months and it should be done once and what we also want to do is to call on the add event listener to run the update network status when the page loads and to also run the function again when it is online and also run it again when it is offline so the reason we are doing this is because when the page loads we want to that's when we want to firstly run it and check the network status and when it is online uh, when the browser doesn't detect any network uh, we want to run the function again and we want to update the uh, local state uh, of this hook so we are making use of a use network status uh, which is a hook that we are going to be calling whenever we need it so uh, which i'm going to be showing you shortly as well and uh, we are also cleaning up the function so when the component or months we don't want to listen to these events again uh, so that's basically the reason we are removing the event from here and finally we are returning the is online status so this is online property is what we are going to use to determine whether the user is online or their network is offline so let's take a look at the usage of the so we've come to providers uh you can see that we imported the use network status and then we destructure this is online that is coming from here which we've returned and now we can now return whatever we want to return and in this case we have an offline screen over here that has uh the design for the offline screen so and if it is not online it's online so we are doing a negation here so if it is not online we want to return the offline screen so that's basically how i implemented this and this is very useful to let user know that their network is off immediately it is off and uh the user will be able to check their network before they proceed on do on making an action so uh this alerts the user on um the status of their network while using your website so uh let me know what you think about this is do you use this in your application or are you going to be using this in your application and if there's any other approaches that you think uh, is much better you can also let me know in the comment section see you in the next one bye bye